Hello, everybody. My name is Teresa Chan, and I am here with Lisa Kaliza from the Postgrad Medical Education Office. And Lisa is an educational lead in that office, but um, uh, the reason why I've asked her here today to hang out with me is because she is an expert in Microsoft Teams. Uh, thank you very much for joining me, Lisa. Say hello to everyone. Hi, everybody. Hi, Teresa. Uh, Excellent. So Lisa, tell me a little bit more about uh, Microsoft Teams. I, I've used like environments like Slack before, but I know that Microsoft Teams is supported by our university and, and it's free. And so it might be a really awesome venue for people to use for kind of like that digital productivity team connection thing. Absolutely. That's exactly what it is. It's a great collaborative space with lots of functionality. Mm -hmm. um, so there have been people that have used different collaborative tools before, mm -hmm. um, Basecamp, three other sorts of simple user-friendly tools like that um, might really gravitate to Microsoft Teams. One, because it's uh, part of the Office 365 package mm -hmm. and it is available fully accessible through the university. Uh, so it's integrated with Outlook, your calendar, all of those other features, Word, PowerPoint, the whole bit. And that uh, really um, um, makes it uh, very user-friendly, very intuitive. Yes. And, and it integrates them. then with all those other products, right? And it integrates, yeah. It integrates also with Zoom. That's one of the things that I'm uh, playing with now. Okay, so excellent. Meeting, you meetings show right up in the, in the same space. That's pretty awesome. Okay, so um, can you show me a Teams environment that you have? That'd sure. be great. So yeah. I'm gonna walk you through um, a sample, t or a team that I have set up for um, our CBME um, team and our work. So this is a matter of getting everybody that's kind of working in Teams, am I sharing? No, nope, not yet. Uh, but if you want to just share your team. So just for everyone, while Lisa is setting up for a screen, CBME is competency-based medical education. And so that is something that uh, we'll have uh, created um, uh, different teams to operationalize this new style of competency-based medical education that we're launching in the World College system uh, within the residency programs. So um, yeah, take it away. So this is like when you log into Teams, this is, you have obviously multiple teams on the go. Is that what yeah, this so is? You can, yeah, so there's multiple teams that, you know, somebody else can be an owner of and you're part of as a member. They're going to all show up in your Teams um, interface here. Excellent. So, um, yeah, so I'm a member of multiple teams. I'm going to take you through our CBME home team to show you some of the functionality. Very cool. So teams can have owners, members, and guests. So I have, I'm the owner of this team, but I also have assigned ownership to other key people that have uh, need that level of um, control over the space. So they um, have permissions to do other things, and that's fully controlled by an owner. So Everything in here is customizable, and this is what, I'm just gonna move this for us. Uh, there we go, I'm gonna try to get that out of the way. So we have um, several things that we customize. So this whole space really is built for anybody and everybody, all faculty, program administrators, leads, that are involved in implementing competency-based medical education in, in postgrad. And so the whole managed team bit as an owner, I have control of all of those functions. So I can add members, I can add channels. So this is the whole main team here that you're seeing. And I've added all of these channels and I've, and I've selected the most customizable team from the menu. And I've added these channels and what it does is allows me to give a channel or a working space for groups of people under the CBME uh, broad team. And so that, that I think people can already get creative in their minds about how they can use that, whether they're a, a, a lead or a coach that's working with a subset of students or teacher to students and part of their curriculum. It can yeah. be customized. It could be like if you're a residency program director, you might have, you know, like your senior residents, your junior residents and a different channel so that they can have the conversations there. Uh, yeah. You can imagine if you're running a, a research team, you might actually have different channels for different people and they have different citizenship within each channel because not everybody's on the same research teams. And so um, Lisa, on the other end, if you're not part of every committee, because as a, as a super user, as the, as the administrator owner of this, you will have access to every channel. But like uh, if I showed up on this and I only am on, let's say the um, medsys or faculty development team, I would only see those two channels 
on my version of this, correct? It's possible for me to, that's a good question. It's possible for me to hide channels or I can make channels private. This mm -hmm. channel right here is okay. private. Oh, I see so the little lock. Excellent. Your list. But the way it does work is it's really built on transparency. So if I have this whole main team, anybody that's a member of the CBME home team is going to see the channels as part of this. They might not pay attention to some of the channels that are, are that are not relevant to them. Yeah. But some of these channels I purposefully have made private because there is a sub working group that yeah. wants to have a, a, a private space. Okay. And so I'm just going to just walk you through what the level of customization is. So okay. across the top navigation pane here, every team is going to have, this is hard coded for posts. Uh -huh. This means anything that's posted here or announcements goes up to the entire home team. So if I wanted to reach everybody, that's relevant, things that are relevant to everybody, I can post them there. Okay. Um, people as a user or a member can uh -huh. set their own notifications. So they can turn off notifications for each channel that they're not a part of or for, and control the notifications they get to the main team as well. Okay. So that's, that's a great chat function that can mm -hmm. instantly reach people and get messaging out. There's mm -hmm. a files. This is hard coded in as well. So you can build your own file architecture oh, and okay. integrated with um, Word you're uploading and you can copy a link to a folder, copy a link to a file within a folder. Um, and this is a SharePoint kind of thing, right? This is all, yes. All okay. the files are stored on SharePoint. Okay. And um, you can open SharePoint and go right to them too. Okay. Then what I've done is I have, I'm just going to show you how you can customize your top navigation pane and how I've done it. Yeah. So by clicking on the, the plus sign, you can look at all the different apps okay. that are available to you and you uh -huh. can uh, hard code that into your navigation pane. So okay. I've added a link to a website. This is a MedSys training website. Oh, okay. But that's, that's actually cool. external. It's external, okay. it, um, but it's right here in our space. So if okay. we're working with it or need to access it, uh -huh. I've uh, built in a wiki and I've called it Q&A. Okay. So as things come up and questions get asked, we post them there. So there's okay. always something fresh in answering questions okay. for people. The CBME website is also uh -huh. hard-coded up there, so it's fully accessible. So for accessing resources, uh -huh. um, um, it's just a way to link in. Cool. Activities, I've titled it, but it's actually a Microsoft Planner app okay. that's integrated. So this is fantastic for, you know, broad overview of all of the different things that are happening in CBME. It keeps people, if they want to look at what's happening at the committee level, they can. If they want to look at what's happening at a bigger, broader CBME level and pose questions. This is Very just cool. an organization tool. It's Planner, and but each channel can customize their navigation pane. Mm -hmm. And so, so that would be something you as the uh, super user or the administrator or the owner would actually just customize that for your whole team. Like you can't individually customize that pane, right? I control that. that yeah, you control it centrally. I control the member um, um, permissions. Perfect. So yeah, I, I maintain that for the main team, but I give yeah. full, so I, the, the committee chair, uh -huh. as I assign them as an owner in the team. So that they can have full access to do what they want in their committee channel. Excellent. I coded it for a little bit up here and built in activities for each of them just to get them going. Yep. But they have, um, they have uh, all that latitude. So that's another great. thing about planner here that's great is all of these to do's. You can choose whether you want to um, uh, look at the actual to do task. I've marked it what's in progress. You have mm -hmm. these that uh, flags on the side that you can use if you want and customize. You can set the priority. Mm -hmm. um, you can show it on card so that you see what all the different uh, tasks are under mm -hmm. this one main task. So there's, you can assign people to that task. Mm -hmm. uh, it shows up in their inbox. So it's good for kind of working mm -hmm. with a group within a group and everybody has something to do. Cool. Uh, and then you can check that off mm -hmm. as you go. Mm -hmm. And you get notifications and updates about tasks that are, you know, pending or so for a working group, like, um, say the evaluation committee, and we're, st we're now starting to launch an evaluation committee, we're starting to identify people that are going to be involved and how we're going to upload those files under this. That's a bigger piece of CBME. And the, the evaluation working group will have its own channel and go from there so people can contribute. But another great thing about this because it's Microsoft Planner you can take a chart view and you can look at 
overall of your project. You can look at things that are in progress and quite get, get a quick visual about things and where things are at. You can also look here around your tasks that are coming up and you can search by bucket of tasks. You can search by um, tasks that are assigned to people. You can look at progress. You can, the labels I showed you before that pop out the side, you can look by needs attention. So you can really filter and keep things organized. And then you have- That's super cool, Lisa. Wow. Yeah. Very cool. Okay. So at the bare bones of it, and you've told us a lot of different things. You all have to have a scheduler. That's amazing. Um, it sounds like at the very core functionality though, it's basically a, a, a very organized group chat. So you have a big kind of room that has little sub rooms. So you basically have a house for your a digital house for your team that has different rooms and you can put different people in charge of different rooms. Uh, so they can run their own kind of agenda. They can do some of the decor. So that bar that you were talking about, they can customize that. And then you can also talk to people, like you said, in the chat function here, you're showing me, you can have discussions between people. Is that correct? Yes. So chat is built in. I can uh, start a chat up here. Mm -hmm. I can make it a private chat with just one individual. Mm -hmm. um, and then say I'm with that individual, I can instantly just... Um, create attachments uh -huh. and keep this um, showing. I can start a video call or yeah. an audio call with them. Okay. Or where, where do you that, do that again? Can you show us that? The video yeah. call? Oh, just right here on the bar on the left. Yep. So uh, where it says video here, call and file this, call. I can call her right now. But oh I'm my gosh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> very cool. Very cool. Uh, just so you know, I guess uh, um, so, some of the functionality is just there that you just have to explore. Once you find it, the, you use it the first time, it won't be so intimidating. It's just like as a first time kind of a viewer for me, I'm like, wow, there's so many different things. I, I think yeah. that that's probably the biggest bar to entry. But so, so breaking it down, really, you can have group discussions, you can have chats, you can call people within it, uh, you can send files, you can schedule stuff, you can organize your activities and have a task manager. So it's a really powerful tool. Yes. It is. And Very you're cool. right. You you raised a really good point. You kind of got to play with it a little bit, but because it's so intuitive and once a group starts going, like we, we rolled it out in post-grad, once people figure something out, they share it and then they, they it starts to just customize for the group. Um, but it doesn't take too much time actually to kind of work through it and see what it can offer. You don't, you don't have to include this app. You can keep it really, really simple, but I think what's really useful and why I like it so much is that the committees can have their own space and post their own files. You can use a wiki and call it planning notes. So everything can be captured when they're on a call. Um, I activity. So the work that they're doing can be filtered into buckets. And uh, it's just a great tool that way and creates that space. It takes it takes away the pains of having to attach files to an email and then download, reversion, upload, where, where did it go? So it's when you're working on things. Um, and the other real cool thing that I like is because you're in the cloud, you can open a file, you can share on a group call and share your screen and you can edit the document or the PowerPoint right in the space and it saves automatically because you're in the cloud. And you have multiple people opening the same document at once or is that not possible? Um, well, it's, it's through shared screen. So if I'm opening... Oh yeah, yeah. But I meant like, let's say you were all working on the same document just by coincidence. Is it like Google Docs where you can all edit it together or is it more like Dropbox where you have to like kick turns? Um, I think... I think it's taking I turns, think the right? person that's kind of running it, say we're going through yeah. a PowerPoint right now yeah. and we're co-editing yeah. it. Yeah. The person that's speaking, we, we can do it right on the fly. If yeah, like we can do it because you're, uh, you're driving it and I'm talking to you. But like yeah. we couldn't actually, let's say we're working on the same team. We're in the environment. We're not on a meeting call. We just don't know where you have to take turns, right? Like you, you might have to signal to someone else. I'm working on this document right now. Don't touch it uh, for well, a little bit. Uh, yeah. Right? One can be editing at a time. That's right. Yeah. You do yeah. talk. But so they it's more like Dropbox in that functionality. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. But they could download it from their files. Yes, exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, cool. But in terms so, of the editing, it's one. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So you just have to make sure you're calling dibs on a file. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, sounds good. But that's what the task for, right? Like, so if you're working with the committee, I'm like, I'm going to work on this for the next hour. Please don't touch it. Um, I mean, I do that with a lot of my teams uh, when we're doing conversations on a paper. We might all have it on a Dropbox. And so we have to call dibs on it too. 
Yeah. Uh, and if you really wanted to collaborate, you could just put a Google uh, Doc link up on your team and just say, hey, everybody got on this document, we can all edit it together at the same time, and then I can formalize it more, right? So I think there's ways you can blend in other tech to be able to make this pretty awesome. So thanks so much, Lisa. This is yeah. really amazing. Um, stay tuned for a second episode where Lisa's going to help me start up a new team. Wonderful. Thanks, Teresa. Thank you.